Plump and Myrtle Rick's left breast is gone. I haven't had any symptoms or problems or anything. Sabrina Peterson's son no longer disabled by sickle cell anemia. He has a lot of energy. I have to make him rest. Disease is cured by this man. His name is Dr. Sabi, but you won't find a medical degree hanging from his wall. Instead, a certificate of healing. We have complex things with science, but if we go back to God and use the herbs as God said, then you can see how simple it is. Then. Dr. Sabi believes what ails you can be cured with natural alkaline herbs and a vegetarian diet solely made up of what he calls electric foods. Mushrooms, greens, and rye breads without starch. Hippocrates established the principle of medical science by using herbs to cure diseases than why the physician using the chemicals. Forty years ago, a doctor in Mexico cured CB of diabetes, asthma, and obesity with the very same herbs and diet he dispenses to all of his patients, whether they're suffering from lack of energy or full-blown AIDS. That package is an intra- cellular chelation. I'm removing plaque from the system. I'm removing inflammation. That is the base for all disease. And according to a medical affidavit provided by Dr. Sandy, it's working. It shows a patient diagnosed with HIV in November of 1993 was cured two months later. Thousands of patients worldwide swear by his methods and natural herbal medicines. In the tiny village, Lisa sought guidance for body and soul from an herbal guru named Dr. Savi. Dr. Savi, you know, according to him, can cure anything. Everything from trying to lose weight to, you know, looking for a cure for AIDS. People go there with hopes and dreams that Dr. Savi can somehow save them. She had been through so many uh, intense problems in her career and in her life and in her personal life that she didn't know where to turn and this doctor she said had shown her how to really open up and, and cleanse all of the negativity out of her she told me she was suffering with alcoholism and that she was smoking excessively cigarettes drinking and smoking she asked me what do i need to do to stay on the side of peace i said fast do what jesus did she said what did jesus do he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Midway through her 40-day ordeal, an obviously gaunt Lisa spoke with MTV News. I've been polluting my body for 30 years. 40 days is not a long time to me to fast. 40 days represents overcoming death. It's, it's the number of days that Jesus fasted for, and I kind of feel like I'm on a journey sometimes don't really know quite where I'm headed. At the end of the fasting, she came to me. I heard the door opening at two o'clock in the morning. She said, I completed my fast this morning. I said, what did you see? I saw God. She said, I'm gonna make you famous. I said, how? Because I'm gonna talk about you. Does everyone know you cure AIDS and cancer? There's just a lot of people in the world who are suffering. They're sick. They're not happy. They're looking for answers. They don't know where to turn. Well, I know a man who's been curing AIDS since 1987. This guy has taught me a lot, and I need to share my knowledge, you know, with the world. Personal experiences with Dr. Sabi and the herbs that I have taken, and also the village in Honduras that I have personally been to several times on several occasions. So the video that you guys just saw, um, I've been there. So you have to go there to get the real, you know, idea of what this place is like. This words cannot describe it. I met Dr. Sadie about four years ago. And um before I got a chance to actually go to the village in Honduras, I was take, I took his herbs. Now, he had several herbs, but the one that I personally chose to take was a 10-day cleanse. And it's because at the time in my life, I kind of felt like the world was on my shoulders. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I needed to go to the top of a mountain and scream. You know, I was just, I just had a lot going on with myself. And you know, they say when you cleanse, you know, it's not just a physical thing. But it's, it's also like an emotional thing. So um, 
I did the cleanse, and before I did the cleanse, I ate everything. You know, I was raised on everything. So after I did the cleanse, you know, I had to give up the meat, the dairy, the sugar, the alcohol, the sodas, the acids, the breads, the pastas, almost everything. <laughs> but um, for about 10 days, I lived on juice, 100% juice, water, sea moss, fruits and vegetables, and after a 10-day period, I only needed four hours of sleep a night. My energy level was incredibly high. My intuition was on point. I could tell you who was knocking on the door before they knocked. I could tell you who was calling the house before they called. My senses was, you know, they were there. Um, I had no desire whatsoever to eat any of the things that I had eaten before the cleanse because I felt that good. Um, before I did the cleanse, I had eczema. It runs in my family. You know, I didn't have it that bad, but every once in a while I would get a breakout. Rash on my face or whatever. Never, since I have changed my eating habits, have I had another breakout. 